like a bad break of the nature. Out of the way. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Uh, I can't hear you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm Rachel Watson, and I have had the joy of being Teresa's big sister for the last 30 or so years. Um, I could spend this speech going over all the things that she was constantly doing to drive me crazy, like stealing my music and my clothes, shadowing me and my friends, reading my diary, and of course, once I was old enough to date, spying on me through the windows when I would get back home. But I won't do that. What I will say is um, that even though having a little sister isn't always rainbows and butterflies growing up, I must have hit the sister lottery. I read an article recently that talked about the special bond of siblings. It talked about the unique gift that having a sibling is because not only were they part of your life, but they have lived that life with you. She's been my sidekick through all of our crazy good times and banded together with me through the ones that were not so good. It's so special to have someone who has traveled your journey with you. She's always a sounding board, a fierce cheerleader, fashion advisor, silly dancer, the best aunt in town. So generous, my partner in crime, and I'm grateful to call her mine. One particularly cool thing about being a big sister is that you get to pass along some kernels of wisdom along the way. Having certain life experiences ahead allow me to see some curves in her path in advance and also maybe some fun looking detours. We have no shortage of these nuggets. I was particularly good at sharing my thoughts on what she ought to do. There were a few though that were pretty good and she actually took me up on them. The first, Considering her love of music and performing, during my freshman year at JMU, I called her and I said, hey, they have these things at college called acapella groups. You need to check it out. <laughs> I think that worked out pretty well for her. Yes, it did. I also told her how not to lie to mom about hitting the mailbox made of brick when you don't <laughs> even have a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> And I think I remember back in 2010 mentioning that that blonde cutie at the Segway table during Martin Family Night seemed to be worth getting to know. Yeah. Well, I had a feeling about Parker from the first sighting at Martin. The deal was sealed for me after listening to stories Teresa would tell about how this guy would surprise her with items, food items that she liked, Dr. Pepper, on bad days when she totally needed it. <laughs> and of course, watching him interact with my kids for the first time. He came to Emma's first birthday party at our house, and if I didn't know better, I would have thought he had known us forever. He fit in with us like a perfect puzzle piece that we didn't even know was missing. I'm over the moon that I can officially call him my brother. So one of the things I love most about my sister is her ability to inject fun into all situations. We have a music-loving family, and she was able to spin that love of music into a creative gift all her own. Many times when she needed to give a speech or a presentation in school, she'd write a parody of a song to serve her purposes. So as my toast, I have prepared a musical snack. <laughs>
Y'all give it up for Rachel.